Hi guys, in today's video, I just wanted to share with you guys my land snail terrarium. And I'm by no means an expert. This is what I'm doing and it seems to be working. Later on, when my snails get more mature and I'm confident that I can really like, not just share my experience, but maybe like help teach you guys on what would possibly work for you, then I'll probably release like a more in-depth in uh, land snail care video. But for now, I'm just gonna give you guys a Another one of these like tours, but this time with my land snail terrarium, um, the supplies I used, what everything cost me, and yeah. So I'm just gonna, or maybe this is gonna be this way. I don't know, but it's gonna. First, I wanted to show you guys this painting that my boyfriend's little cousin painted for us and for the snails, and I think it's so cute. It has both the snails. I, I thought this was really sweet. Um, and actually, I don't have any names for them. I, I mean, I kind of been calling them like Gary and Snelly if you ever watch SpongeBob, but I mean, snails can't really like, you know, call, I can't call them by their names. They're simpletons. I also keep some candles by my terrarium because at night I like to sit here because they're really more active at night and in the morning. So it's actually like 9.30 right now. I woke up a little earlier to film this video because um, I just wanted the snails to be awake, you know, so I can show you guys the some, some action. What can I, I got this spray bottle mister from Jonas Garden for like $12 on Etsy. Yeah, it's come in handy. My plants love it and the snails need it. So, cause they can't dry out. So I spray them like once or twice a day, their terrarium with this and it wakes them up. They like poke their eyes out. I don't, I don't like their eyes don't poke out, but like they poke out, you know? Just as important as the mister, you need the habitat, the terrarium on Etsy. And this was $40, I think around $40. NCYP Garden also has a terrarium that has better air ventilation. I definitely recommend getting the other terrarium that they sell. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be doing that. Believe it or not, I also got the snails from Etsy too. The Etsy shop for this one is Snail Land Co. And I got them for around $10 each. Right now, um, I just checked their shop. They don't have any snails, they kind of come and go. They had all different types of species though. I believe I got the escargot variety, also known as burgundy or Roman snails. And I'll list like the scientific name somewhere. I went ahead and bought some supplemental food for the snails. I got a health boosting pack or whatever food mix. They also have dewormer and the shop I bought from is Brittany Bellows from Etsy as well. I just used a regular pet brand, pet shop, Coco Coir. Um, it was like in those bricks, you know what I mean? Like dehydrated and I had to like hydrate it in a bucket and stuff. And that's what I put for like the base of the terrarium. And I misted it, make sure it was nice and moist for the snails, not too dry and not too compacted, you know, kind of loose and fluffy. And like the moss was a last minute thing. I got the moss from an Etsy shop called Appalachian Emporium. And I don't know, moss is so pretty to me. So I was like, why not? I looked up to see if the snails would eat it. They won't eat it, which is good. They don't really like it but not that they don't like being on it and around it, they don't like eating it. I don't know, might be toxic, I don't know. But they know not to eat it and they've been doing fine. I've had them for like a couple months now, so. I put a mushroom decoration and I also have some shells in there. And I know people are gonna be like, oh, this nail can fall and crack its shell. Well, yeah, I can, but it can do that anywhere. You know what I mean? So I'm not gonna like, Whatever. I can fall and hit my head on this table. It's just the price that we're willing to take to have decorations, you know? So it is what it is. 
I also got that from a pet shop. I don't remember how much it was. There's little chunks of like bone looking stuff and that's what it is. I think it's like cuttlefish bone or cuddle bone. Um, I don't know. I know they're from like a cephalopod and snails and other shelled critters need it or like need what it contains and it just like promotes good shell growth and stuff like that. So threw some of that in there, they'll I guess nibble on it here and there. So kind of the first couple weeks I noticed that I was getting little tiny spores of mold or of some type of fungi, fungi growth in the terrarium and I knew that was prone to happen so I was looking up like ways to help with that. Some of the things you can do is have a cleanup crew. So I love pill bugs or roly polies, um, they're called, they're really, they're isopods and I was planning on like getting getting some, but I was like, well, I don't wanna get like more than one and then it starts like reproducing a bunch. So like one day I was like long boarding and I like sat down on my like board just to like, you know, catch a breath cause I got tired. And you know, a roly poly crawled right up to me. So I was like, I popped out like my wallet, took my card out and I like slid it on my card or put it in my pocket and I took it home and stuff. And it seems to be doing good. It's been there for like, Probably, I did that pretty early on, so probably like maybe like a month. There's actually, I'm kind of disappointed because the reason why I only wanted one is because I didn't want it to reproduce, but I guess they can reproduce asexually or maybe it was already pregnant. I'm not really sure the facts, but the fact is that there's like baby isopods in there, which is cool though. And they eat, I guess, like the decaying plant matter. So like dying moss and then like any of the food that like the remnants of food because those are what causes like any type of spores or mold, fungi, that type of stuff. So I was really excited about getting one of those or a family. I don't know, overall it's been a really like fun experience to owning land snails and having like this terrarium and it's like a little like, it's like a little I don't know, a little life in there, like a little world in there. It's super cool. I'll just like sit out here at night or like sunset or in the morning, I'll have like my coffee or I'll just, you know, I'm 21, so I could have some wine here, you know, at night and just like hang out with my snails, watch them snail, do their thing, watch them slither. What do they do? Slither? So if you guys watch my plant tour video, you guys know that I've been giving you guys updates with this plant right here, with this rapper some some Teresa some some some. I'll list the name. But this plant I got from Jonah's Garden, the Essie shop with the Mister, because if you get more stuff, then you can get free shipping, and it didn't do too well. But as you see now, for like the third update, it's just like the life in the back is all that's new growth you know so i'm really excited so if i get some like fenestrate leaves then i can get like that trail going up and yeah if you never watched that video go check it out i have a couple other plant videos as well as some tours and vlogs i don't recommend holding your snails your skin has a lot of like salt and um stuff that they don't want and like and can handle because their skin's very porous and stuff just like i mean ours is porous as well so if you're gonna do it, if you must, spray some water on your hands with your little mister and then let them, let them snail around. All right guys, I hope you liked meeting Gary and Snelly and um, I'll snail you next time. Okay, that was
thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.